<laughs> well, well, look at this, my fantastic numismatic friends. I've got two and a half kilos of silver coins in this in this box to hunt through. Uh, a good friend of mine who I do Taekwondo with, he owns a jewellery shop and this has been scrapped in. This is all scrap value coins, right? Okay, I'm going to hunt through it. Now, they're, they are cashed in as scrap, but there may be some numismatic value in these. My friend doesn't know anything about coins and the person that scrapped them in doesn't either. And I, I, uh, I assured that they're from the 1920s, 30s and 40s. Okay, so let's let's do a little bit of a silver hunt. Okay, pre-decimal silver coin hunt. I can't wait to get into this. This is, wow. Okay, and my friend told me if I can make a bit of a profit on these, it'll help pay for a painting he wants from me. <laughs> All right, so, well, they're not shillings or florings or things like that. That's a sixpence, okay? All right, and what he did, what he did say, he says, he writ down on the bag the scrap value of each coin. So each coin will, in this sixpence range, will be 76p. Let's let's carry on. Let's, let's, let's get some out. Okay, what's this? Wow, that's a big bag. That's a big heavy bag. And they are one shillings. Okay, there's 268 of those. And the scrap cost would be £1.50 each. Now, some may be scrap value only, but some could be Bobby Dallas dazzlers okay so we've got what we've got here we have got two shillings and floggings okay so my my friend doesn't know the difference between shillings and two shillings are floggings okay i think they just changed when the monarch changed all right so what i'm going to do i think uh, is 33 of those at three pound that's the scrap cost at the time of passing these to me i'm going to pop them in the box i think all right, pop them in the box because they've got different designs on. Okay, different monarchs and everything, but they mean they are the same coin basically. Okay, give it a bit of a mix up. Okay, get those out the way, and then get the bag out the way, and then let's get a little board. Let's get a let's get this little board on, on there. Now this is just a, a coin album that I have with shillings and florins in. I've cut out the uh, the, the Cooper nickel because some of these coins some shillings and florings and two shillings from a certain date they went into being cooper nickel right but i'll talk more about that in a bit okay so let's just grab a slack handful we'll make a couple of videos of these yeah that'll be nice won't it okay grab a random handful try and get them all in there that, that should do for now okay now what we've got there this is a beautiful design okay this is a it's 1936 now what we can see on there we can see some crowned maces and the emblems of the uh, the united kingdom we've got england scotland and uh, ireland and because uh, because wales is a principality not a kingdom it is uh, it's got the uh, the english crown on there the english uh, shield on there as well okay so we'll flip that over and we have got george the fifth and it's got some latin on there george the fifth by grace of god king of all the britons okay and we flip that around and we can see on there defender of the faith and indim means uh, emperor of india 1936 one flogging now one flogging is actually two shillings okay now the silver content of these these coins up until about 19 uh, sorry 1815 1816 they were 100 silver from 1816 to 1920 they were about 92.5 silver and from 1920 to 1946 they are 50 percent silver so this is 1936 so this will be a 50 percent silver one and that will live where does that live there okay just there like that and there is 9.8 million of those minted of course there won't be that many about now okay so what we've got next we've got the same uh design on there a bit more worn out now some of these coins will be worth only scrap but some will have some numismatic value on there that's a 1930 i believe 1930 lovely looking coin with a g at the cross of the uh of the, uh, the the maces or the scepters the royal scepters i think they are 
1930 where do you live up there uh, 5.7 million on that one okay so we've got again we've got George the fifth 1936 so that's <laughs> that's a duplicate that's not in bad Nick either that one that's not a bad Nick okay so we've got a slightly different design on here it just says one flogging 1921 a little bit more plainer and again we've got George V but all the text all the legend is is written on this side apart from the the name of the coin and the date and there on the obverse of this uh, flogging we have an uncrowned portrait of King George V and this was designed by Edgar Bertram McKennell the reverse design of this coin is a crowned cruciform shield design around a central garter star. We have scepters at angles which divide the date below and the denomination above. The designer of this coin was Leonard Charles Wyon. The years this design ran from was from 1920 to 1926 and it contains 0.5 silver. Its weight is 11 grams. Its diameter is 28.3 millimeters. Thickness is 1.95 millimeters. And it's got a milled edge. Beautiful stuff. So that's 1921. So just off that 92% silver mark. So, so one year out. Okay, 34.8 million on that one. Okay, we've got a different design again here. It says 1939. We've got two shillings, so two shillings are a flogging. And it says Fid, Death, Ind, Imp on this side. So Defender of the Faith, Emperor of India. We've got GR underneath the, uh, we've got the Scottish Thistle there and the the uh, the Shamrock of Ireland and a crowned Tudor Rose there, which we see on a 20 pence piece, don't we, nowadays? And then we've got George the Sixth. There we go, that's the king's granddad, George VI, and we've got uh, DG, BR, Om, Rex. There we go, Defender of the Faith, King of all the Britons and all that lot, 1939, with 20.8 million on there. Got, we are going a bit coin patrol today, aren't we? You know, and I don't know how many videos we'll make out of this, but uh, we'll try as best, we'll do as best. We've got another one flogging here, 1929, this one. Okay. Uh, flip it around, whoa, I'm going a bit crazy there, and that's a George V again, 1929, so we'll pop you down where you belong, 1929, oh, there, okay, another George V, and we've got a 1935, okay, so the 1925, sorry, 1929 one is, uh, I think it's 16.3 million, if I can see that right, but I could be wrong, I could be wrong, my eyes aren't what they used to be, 1935. It goes there, and that is a 7.5, 7 7.5. All right, so if you are interested in any of these coins, contact me on one of my social medias that are down in the description, and if I've still got it, and uh, if the price is right, we'll get it to you, okay, or my friend will. There we go, 1930, 1930, that's a beautiful coin, but a duplicate. A duplicate, we've got, what's this one now? We have got a 1939, have we had 1939? Yes, we have, so another du duplicate. Okay, but nice to nice to see. Uh, what's this one? This is, this looks a bit worn there, but not as worn as what I've seen in the, uh, in the coin shops and anything like that. This is, again, 1929, I believe that one is. 1929 for outing number two. And this one, come back. Flogging there, 1922. So 1922, they invented the shoe. No, I'm only kidding you. And they probably invented it long before that. There's 23.8 million on that. Okay, we have got another 1929. Okay, pop that up there. And last of this handful is a 1923 look at that beautiful stuff 1923 so a little bit of a mini date run of course the ones that we want to see are the 1932 that has got 17 
sorry, 717,000 on that. That's like this will be like the Kew Garden of these coins. Okay, so let's go through another handful. Okay, there we go. So we have got another 1929. Right, so 1931. Do we need a 1931? Yes, we do. 1931 with 6.5 million on there. George the six on there. We've got another 1939. So well, that's that on there. Okay, uh, 1940. So there's a 50% silver one. 1940. George the six and the mintage on that is 18.7 million. Okay, why have I got that one in my hand? Don't know. Don't know what I'm doing. Don't know what I'm doing. 1923 there we go a little bit worn out that one but not too bad uh 33 we haven't had that one yet so 1933 has got 8.6 million of course you won't find these in your change or anything like that but once upon a time i do remember spending floggings and shillings as 10p and a uh, 5p respectively when i was a little boy you know when i was about eight or nine years old 1936 again okay uh 1922 we've got that one and 1921 we've got that one as well and 1922 again okay pop them there quick little handful i think this time and then we'll call it a day for this hunt Okay, so a 1939 to kick us off. We've got that one. And another 1939, another 1922, another 1922, a 23. Now we've got that one. A 29. Have we got 29 on the board, folks? Can you see 29 anywhere? Yes, and we've got it several times over. Okay, another 1929, another 36. 36 we've had. So these must be common years or something like that. 35, got that once down already. Uh, 1930, got that a couple of times. Uh, another 1930. And 31, which we've already got. Okay, so we're going to call it a day there. Uh, if you've enjoyed this one, give me a big old thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost a thing. Uh, leave me a nice big comment and I'll join you in the next episode. Happy days, I see thee.